Good morning, this is N6QW, and we're going to start work today on building the bandpass filter uh, for the Let's Build Something um, <clears throat> a direct conversion receiver. And uh, we've elected to use uh, the IF transformer sold by Mauser, the part number uh, 42IF123. These are 10.7 megahertz IF transformers that uh, essentially what we're doing is modifying them by adding some capacitance across the windings so that uh, they will pass the uh, 40 meter band. Here's a uh, schematic of the uh, band pass filter and you can see one of the transformers here where the primary winding is one of the in and outs. The secondary winding has an additional 68 picofarad um, capacitor across it. Uh, the two transformers are coupled with a lightly coupled with a 2.2 picofarad the second transformer with the uh, secondary, so essentially secondary to secondary, again has the 68 picofarad connected across it. And the in and out is uh, off of the primary side. So uh, to put this on 40 meters, uh, we do have to modify these transformers uh, by adding a capacitor. And uh, on 20 meters, you actually uh, remove, there's an internal capacitor across the secondary here on the underside, on the side. So very carefully you remove that and you only need about 20 picofarad total to have those uh, same transformers uh, work on uh, 20 meters. So uh, the first thing we're going to do here is to take the, uh, you notice the uh, transformer, the, uh, one side is grounded on the primary, another side is grounded on the secondary, and we're also grounding the case. So essentially what we've done here is to take this little transformer and just um, modify it so that we connect uh, these two two pieces together uh, well to the case and we solder that down uh, to the board and we're using the uh, me squares here for or the me pads I should say I can't get those straight the me pads uh, for this filter now you see here on this copper board which is two by three inches uh, we put them up at the top so I've uh, aligned this so these uh, these me uh, pads can I can actually put three filters on here so we're going to build the 40 meter at the top, uh, 20 meter at the second, and the second part, and then maybe 15 meters or 17 meters. So uh, we're, we're allowing for future expansion. And we'll continue this video as we do the uh, final construction. But the, just to give you some idea, the preparation that's going in, in hand here, we'll screw this board down so it'll be nice and tight. I just glued the pads down. And uh, be careful with that super glue. Man, it sticks right away. So uh, I put some... A scribed lines in here with a, a light pencil that I have to kind of show where this should go. So uh, again, this is Pete N6QW, and we're building the uh, right now. We're building the um, bandpass. Hi guys, for this is meters. Pete, and I'm continuing on here with the building of the bandpass uh, uh, filter that will be used on the Let's Build Something Part One project, and the uh, design frequency for this is uh, 40 meters. Uh, although uh, in building this board right here we allowed enough room to add filters for other bands such as 20 or 15 or 17 meters. With the IF that we're using at 4.9152 uh, megahertz uh, all those bands are, are reality. Essentially uh, all we do is take the stock uh, 42 IF123 transformer that you can buy from Mauser and uh, we run it back to back so we have a primary secondary secondary primary and essentially we do nothing to the transformer other than that a 68 picofarad capacitor across the uh, secondary on both sides here and this is coupled with a two point light coupling 2.2 uh, picofarad um, i was not i don't have any 68 picofarads in stock uh, it's something i'm going to have to order but just a note here that I did use two uh, capacitors in parallel. Uh, so if you parallel capacitors, uh, unlike resistors, uh, the values just uh, add numerically. So I had a 47 and a 20. So I just paralleled the 47 and 20 here, which gives us 67, and a 47 and a 20 here, uh, which gives you 67. And these filters, are these cores are, are tunable, so you can peak them. Now... In sweeping this specific filter, and, and by the way, that's where building uh, the DDS uh, probably early on in the project, uh, not only is it going to give you the signal source for the direct conversion receiver, 
but what it also will do for you is provide you a mechanism to tune this filter. So essentially I swept the filter by connecting the input to the uh, Arduino and then connecting the output to my oscilloscope. And so what I was able to do is uh, actually um, you, you can tune this thing so it will favor the CW portion of the band or the phone portion of the band. And it's uh, quite dramatic. You can see this thing uh, will cover a nice slice. So uh, the typical uh, bandwidth here on uh, 40 meters is 300 uh, kilohertz. So that's a pretty wide filter. So um, I, I took the best of all worlds and I compromised by picking the center frequency of 100 and, uh, 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 7.170 and 170 kilohertz uh, which kind of puts it right in the middle of the band kind of peaked it up tuned these two transformer cores here it's a green core and uh, was able to sweep it so it drops off uh, real real dramatically at the very low end of 40 meters so uh, anything below about um, 70 20 is kind of kind of going to be rejected and anything above uh, uh, 7280 is going to be rejected as well so you 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 can adjust this uh, where you so like, or you can do the uh, TFMS uh, approach if you don't have the R uh, Arduino DVS, uh, you can tune for max smoke, TFMS. So uh, this is the filter, and it just follows um, the, the circuit diagram specifically. Here's the input. Uh, I did ground these two pins to the case, so that's soldered here at this point here and this point here. And the uh, coupling capacitor 2.2 picofarad is right in between these. Uh, this uses the uh, the me pads, and then the 68 uh, picofarad is on the other side, right here. As you can see, I paralleled the 20 and a 47, and a 20 and a 47, and so they're uh, soldered right to this uh, base plate. Again, I uh, this is a two by three piece of PC board. Pre-drilled the four corner holes. Uh, screwed this down to my chunk of 2x4 here, so this provided a really solid base uh, during the construction process. And again, I, I aligned these in such a way as that I, I can build additional filters, so there's enough room here. Now you might ask, well, what about this space here? Well, that could be uh, some relays. You could put some relays in here, let's say you use two bands, or uh, if you, you wanted to use uh, like uh, three bands with three separate, six relays would, uh, would do three bands. Or if you just wanted to do, uh, uh, if you just wanted, to, I'm sorry, four relays would do uh, three bands. Uh, two relays would give you two bands. So uh, you can put the relay here and relay here. Little panel mount and toggle switch, and you can uh, switch between a 20 meter, um, uh, say a 20 meter and a 40, or a 40 and a 17, or a 40 and 15. But for our initial stages here, because the signal levels. And, and the ability to copy signals maybe more readily on 40 meters than 20 uh, when the band's not in. These were built, uh, uh, the first band pass filter was built for 40 meters. Again, Zen 6QW, here's the schematic, here's the built hardware. This dimension is 3, that dimension is 2. When, in our final configuration, we'll be screwing these down to a, uh, a breadboard and then making all the interconnections between the various modules. This is N6QW, again one, one more time the schematic and the final product here. So um, stay tuned.